Dallas, Texas. The earth shakes as a factory storing compressed gas explodes. Workers were filling acetylene tanks when a valve ruptured and ignited. Now, canisters burning at 7,000 degrees are launched like missiles onto surrounding freeways, landing mere feet from morning commuters. Hazmat coordinator Ted Paget knows he has to act fast. Within a mile of this facility, we have approximately 150,000, give or take, working downtown Dallas. Immediately asked for a shutdown of the freeways. But the violent explosions make it too dangerous for firefighters to move in. The fireball itself looks to be going approximately a quarter of a mile up. Just in the matter of seconds, it just double, tripled, quadrupled. Paget keeps first responders at a safe distance, letting surrounding buildings and parked cars fall victim to the voracious flames. That is the least of my concern right now, simply because of the magnitude of the explosions going off and the concern for the personnel. We're in a basically wait and see mode. Finally, after an hour of intense burning, they are able to move in. The amount of property damage is staggering, but no lives were lost. We were extremely lucky. With the amount of vehicles we had on the freeway and the amount of cylinders that came off of the fence line and the fact that uh, we wrapped it up and didn't have injuries, I would say it was a big time success. 